So what's up guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, I've got some custom tactics and player instructions for the 4 triple two. Uh, but just before we get started guys, as always, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop this video a thumbs up as it does really help me out. If you want some coins for the new level up promo, make sure you check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're very fast, they're very cheap, they're very reliable. And if you use my code Rima, you can get yourself a nice 5% extra discount. Oh, Okay guys, so starting off with the custom tactics, for the defensive style I like to have this on balanced. Uh, the reason we have this on balanced is because it does give us the best control over our defense. So when we want to be aggressive and press our opponent we are able to do so and then when we want to drop back be a little bit more passive we can also do that. So it does give us the best control that the other settings don't give us. Uh, as for the width guys we have this on 34. The reason we do this is because it gives us a nice narrow and compact defense which makes it very difficult for our opponent to run right through the middle of us it leaves a lot less gaps and just makes defending much easier as a whole uh, the reason we don't go and take the width all the way down though is because it's still important to maintain some of the natural width to cover the wider areas in case an opponent tries an attack down the wing so we want our defense to be narrow but not too narrow at the same time now moving on to the depth guys, I have this on 63. The reason for this is I find it to be a nice balanced depth. So it's not so low to the point where we're always getting pinned back in our own box. And on the flip side, it's not crazy high to the point where one through ball absolutely destroys us. So it is very nice and controlled. Sometimes we can win the ball higher up the pitch and other times we can sit off a little bit deeper uh, and defend a bit deeper in our own half. So it is really nice and controlled which is why I do like it uh, but it's up to you guys whether or not you change that uh, for build up play guys I have this on balance the reason we have this on balance is because it's the most consistent varied form of build up in the game basically when you use balance you can pick and choose when and where you use each form of build up uh, to your choosing basically for example if you look at something like slow build up you're always going to have to build up slowly you're not randomly going to be able to switch up and play a little bit quicker so you're kind of locked into always playing slow which can be a little bit predictable the same way if you use fast build up you're always locked into playing quickly you can't randomly decide to slow down uh, so yeah you really do lose a lot of that variety if you choose a specific setting but with balance you can really pick and choose when and where you use each form of build up which is why I do like it and think it is the best uh, as for chance creation guys I have this on direct passing this is because it's by far the most meta option in the game when you use direct passing your attacking players will bunch up against the opposition defenders so you can do the very overpowered one versus one plays uh, to create a lot of chances players will also make those extra movements in the penalty area so you can get off the extra pass to guarantee the goals instead of smacking it at the goalkeeper uh, you have that extra passing option to guarantee those goals uh, as for the width guys I have this on 43 the reason for this is we don't want the width to be crazy narrow even though this is a narrow formation what I mean by this is we don't want to go and put the width down to like 20 because then our players are just sat on top of each other and that is not effective uh, and on the flip side we also don't want to have the width crazy high because it becomes more like a 424 which again is also not good so we'd want it to be narrow but not too narrow at the same time which is why we have it on 43 uh, again not really a specific number you have to use uh, for players in box guys I have this on three this is so we can get a few players into the box to finish off those chances but at the same time we don't over commit the entire team to the point where we always get counter-attacked and destroyed on the break uh, so that's why I like that and as for corners and free kicks guys I have these both on one because there is a set piece routine that I use which requires these to be on one there is a link to that in the top right hand corner of the screen if you are interested now moving on to the player instructions guys on the strikers I have them both on stay central and get in behind we have them on stay central because they are our strikers so we don't want them drifting off into those wider areas we want them to maintain those central positions so they're always where the striker should be pretty self-explanatory setting but a lot of people forget about it to be honest with you uh, as for the uh, other instruction we have them both on get in behind by default by the way 
way this is what I go into in like when I first start the game this might change as I'll explain but we have them on getting behind so they're always looking to make those runs in behind and get as many chances as possible now this is really good against lower end opponents and players that aren't that good at defending but if you come up against a more tough high-end opponent somebody that knows what they're doing and are really good at defending it might be worth switching one of them or both of them to mixed attack as they make much more varied movements as the strikers it's a lot easier to attack it's a lot more fluid and they're not always restricted to making the same runs in behind uh, but yeah that is what I would suggest there now for the cams the right cam and the left cam guys we have them both on comeback on defense the reason we do this is because it will make the team defend in a 4-4-2 now this is super important because the 4 triple 2 is obviously very good in attack and it's okay in defense in its default shape but it can be better so when we put these cams on comeback on defense it will make the team defend in a 4-4-2 shape because this right cam will come back to defend as a right midfielder and then this left cam will come back to defend as a left midfielder hence making it a 4-4-2 when we don't have the ball this means we're going to be very good in attack with the 4 triple 2 and then also very good in the defense with the 4-4-2 so it is really nice to use guys now moving on to the left CDM, the more defensive minded midfielder, I like to go for like a balance between the midfielders. So we've got like a more defensive player here and then a more box to box style in the other position. So for the more defensive minded player in the left CDM spot for me, we have him on stay back, cut passing lanes and cover center. We have him on stay back because like I said, he is a more defensive minded player. So we don't want this player flying forward uh, because that's not his job. It's not what he's good at. We want him to stay back and make us as secure as possible. We have him on cut passing lane so he's always looking to intercept those passes and be annoying to opponents this makes him very very effective uh, when we are defending because cut passing lanes is a super important instruction uh, in my opinion we also have him on cover center so he does defend those central areas this is very important you don't want this player on cover wing as for the right CDM guys, the more box-to-box -box style player, we have him on the default settings and cover center. We have him on the default settings because like I said, I use him as more of a box-to-box -box style player. So we don't want to restrict him all that much. I kind of want to let him do his own thing, attack, defend, basically do whatever he's feeling like. Uh, the only important thing is that we have him on cover center. So he does defend those central areas as opposed to the wings. Now for the fullbacks guys, I have them both on stay back while attacking and overlap. We have them on stay back while attacking on default because it means our back four will always be intact and it stops our opponents being able to just throw ballers down the line and rip us to shreds basically. We have them on the overlap run type however as when we do send them on a run forward manually, uh, they will make the overlapping runs to add extra width to our attack because like I said, this is quite a narrow formation and sometimes these fullbacks can do really well in adding that wider option when I want to attack with the fullbacks I'll often use the d-pad tactics to trigger attacking fullbacks and then when I want them to defend I will just turn that setting off it's really effective guys uh, as for the two center backs and the goalkeeper these are on the default settings and I do not touch them but yeah they are my custom tactics and player instructions for the four triple two if you have enjoyed or found it useful please be sure to drop this a like sub to the channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on notifications and with all that aside guys I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.